everyone today. My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for taking a minute and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make double smoked ham with a pineapple and cherry glaze. Now this is super easy. Uh, I'm taking a pre-packaged ham. This one I got from Sam's Club. It's already fully cooked. And instead of heating it up in the oven, I'm going to heat it up on my pit barrel cooker and allow some smoke uh, to kind of heat it up again, add that extra layer of smoky flavor to it. And then during the last part of the cook, I'm going to make a homemade glaze uh, comprised of some uh, pineapple, some honey mustard, and some brown sugar. And then I'm going to finish it off by uh, using these toothpicks and putting on some uh, pineapple slices and some cherries. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. And this is a great recipe to do if you got relatives coming over for the holidays, Easter, what have you. Uh, you don't have to stress it. It's already pre-cooked. All you got to do is stick it on your smoker, stick a thermometer in there, and then when it comes up to temperature, you're done. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. All right, so I took the ham out of the package. These are already fully cooked, they're already smoked. It's really nice if you have a rack like this that you can move it around on. It's gonna make things much easier. Now for the first part of the cook here, I'm not gonna put anything on it other than occasionally, maybe every half hour, spraying it with some apple juice in the little sprayer here. We wanna keep it moist. And I'm gonna put a couple uh, thermometers on each side and we're gonna wait until it hits 125 degrees. Uh, I'm thinking that might take two hours maybe an hour and a half to two hours is my best guess uh, my pit barrel I'm going to try to keep running at around 275 to 300 tops and uh, that's about it I'm just going to spray it and then once we get it to 125 we're going to bring it back in and that's what I'm going to apply this glaze and put the pineapples and cherries on it so I'm just going to let it sit here for a second let's go outside and get that uh, pit barrel fired up all right so here we are I have a uh, some coals here, ashed over, ready to go. As you can see down in the bottom in my basket, I put some uh, charcoal around and we're going to pour the hot coals right in the center. And then I got some uh, wood chips kind of sprinkled about. And I'm using apple. When you're cooking a ham like this, it's already smoked once. You don't want to use a real heavy wood. So any kind of fruit wood would be great. Apple or cherry would be what I would recommend personally. All right, so there we go. I'm just gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna put these uh, rods in. I'm just gonna let the temperature stabilize. I always do this for around 10 minutes, just like so. And uh, we'll be back in around 10 minutes. All right, it's been around 10 minutes. Let's take a look here. All right. <clears throat> Another helpful hint for pit barrel cooker owners you could use this as a kind of charcoal stir so I'm just going to kind of make sure these lit coals are distributed evenly evenly all right I think that's good okay there we go what I'm going to do before I put the basket or the grate down and the ham on this so I got just a little bit a few little uh, apple chips these things burn very fast so if I had to, I, I prefer to use the chunks but I don't have any I just have hickory so I'm gonna use uh, these chips instead that should be fine they burn so so fast so I gotta work kinda quick here as you can see they're gonna start to flame up in a second okay so put the grate down Here's our beautiful ham. I'm going to place that down like so. What I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to spray some apple juice on it, get it nice and wet. It's still pretty cold and you can put it right in cold because actually that's going to be better for the smoke. Add a little smoke flavor on the outside. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to put this uh, temperature gauge in the corner here 
And now I got a couple probes here. I'm gonna kind of push in. Let's see. We'll push one in like right here. Make sure you don't hit a bone. And since this has got a dual probe, I'll just put two. The bone's right here, so. Let me see if I can go kind of like this. There we go. Sometimes you gotta be careful when working these uh, rebar pieces. Okay. Hopefully I'll have enough clearance. Move that hammer over just a little bit. There we go. All right. Perfect. We'll put the lid on top. And like I said, I'm not quite sure how long this is going to take. I would guess before we hit 125, eh, hour and 15 minutes, hour and 45 minutes. Okay, one's coming in at 39 degrees. Still don't have anything on probe one. Is it pushed in? Oh, it's not pushed in all the way. Hang on. There we go. So let's see. It should update in just a second. There we go. So one at 39 degrees, one at 41 degrees. I'm going to go inside, relax, have a beer, and uh, we'll check back in a little bit. All right, you know what time it is. Beverage review time. Vanilla Porter from Beckenridge Brewery. Fine Colorado Ales. Roasted malt with a nose of a vanilla. 5.4% alcohol. Ooh, that sounds good. And this is my son, Kyle. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> he's having something he's never tried, but he's tried these uh, sodas from this company. He loves the way I say the name. Charitos Lime. It's a Mexican company. Natural flavored soda with real sugar. That actually does sound good, lime. All right. All right, so. You want me to open it for you? Here. You pour it, okay? You like keeping those. Be careful. You got it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be careful, it might fizz up. This is really dark. All right, good job. We've just done this. Okay. I think we got every drop. All right. So let's uh, let's give it the sniff test, huh? Hmm. It smells like an apple. Smell a little bit of caramel, a little bit of malt. I smell apples and corn. <laughs> apples and corn. Really? Duh. Okay. I mean. Come on. No wonder Cheers. they call it lime soda. It smells like lime? No, apples and corn. You want to try it for yourself? Are you serious? Yeah. What do you expect? Huh? It's a lime soda. Yeah, I know, but sometimes you, you pick up different uh, fragrances in there. As always, guys, I appreciate watching my video. Thank you. Cheers. Come on, Kyle. Let's go. One more time. All right. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's good. Like Almost like a chocolatey, malty. Mm. And I do taste the vanilla. Mm-hmm. That is good. How about how about yours? I'm wondering how sweet it is. Being lime, it's probably a little tart. Somehow it is. I can taste it sour, but it's actually really sweet for a lime. Yeah, it's got the lime sourness, but it's got a little sweetness in it too. I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Definitely tastes sugar. Yeah? <laughs> well, it's made with uh, natural cane sugar. Alright, we're 11 minutes into this cook. Once at 42, once at 43. We're going to need some time here to bring this up to 125. So I'm going to enjoy my beverage. Kyle's going to have enjoy his. Cheers again. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to make this pineapple cherry glaze. You just need a couple ingredients here. Now what I'm going to start with, I have a 20 ounce can of these pineapple uh, chunks. Okay, and I got a little food processor here. And I'm just going to blend this real quick. Let's see how that 
turned out. All right, you can see it's like a, a nice puree. So that's what we're gonna start our glaze with, okay? It's one 20 ounce can. I didn't put any of the juice in there. Okay, now we're gonna actually put three tablespoons of the juice. You don't wanna put too much, else it's gonna get a little too watery, okay? We got one cup of brown sugar. this away. Now we have, what I'm using at the last part when I'm going to put these pineapple slices and cherries is, you know, you get a jar of these uh, manichino cherries, okay? So I took some of the juice out. We have three tablespoons of that cherry juice we're going to pour in there. Like so. And then I have two tablespoons of honey mustard. And I would use the honey mustard. I mean, I guess you could use Dijon or the stone ground, but I think the honey mustard is going to give it a little bit better flavor for the ham. All right, I'm going to mix this thoroughly, and I'm going to put it on the oven, and I'm just going to kind of bring this to a simmer and kind of let it reduce down a little bit. And this is going to be our glaze. So I'll come back in a little bit and show you how it looks like. All right, here we are. We're at the 45 minute mark. One's uh, just turned 75, one's at 80. So I haven't been out here. Let's take a look and see how it's coming along. All right, looking good, looking good. Looks a little dry, so uh, we're gonna spray some more apple juice on it. All right, make sure you get a good uh, dose of apple juice all the way around. There we go. Oh, it smells wonderful. All right. We'll just let the pit barrel cooker do its thing. We'll be back and check on it in a little bit. All right. Bit. We just hit the two hour mark. Uh, we're close. One uh, is 114, one's 117. So let's take a look here. Woo! Oh, that looks good. Look at the color. Okay, we're going to spritz it again with some apple juice. It's probably not going to take long. Probably another 10-15 minutes to get up to 125 and then inside. Ooh, the minute I take that cover off and some oxygen gets on there, it flames up. Which is good. Alright, look at that. Man. I am happy with what that, how that looks like. So, uh, put the cover on it. We'll give it a little bit more time till it hits 125. Be back shortly. All right, I just wanted to show you how this glaze is looking. Just want to bring it to a simmer. I've had it simmering here for probably around a half hour. It's gotten really thick. It's reduced down, and it's just about time to bring that ham in and coat it with this glaze. Wow, looking good. All right, we'll be back in a second. All right, here we are. I've just taken it out. It reached 125. There's this glaze. In the interest of saving time, I'm going to pour some of it. Look how thick it's gotten. This is kind of how you want it. Oh, And the ham's kind of cracked apart in the center, so I'm going to let some drip down there. Now we're just going to apply this glaze on the outside of the ham. And then we'll put it back on the smoker just to heat it up a little bit more, kind of caramelize this glaze. But once we're done here, we're going to do one last thing. This is also going to help have the pineapple rings adhere to the outside of this ham. Oh man, this smells great. All right. So we're going to take pineapple rings. We're just going to lay them down. You know what? You know what? I don't need to... Really, it's the ones on the top. The glaze is going to kind of help stick them. But if you want, stick a toothpick in them. It's not going to hurt. Let me continue to lay these out just like this. No particular order. And the ones obviously on the side, you're going to have to adhere with a toothpick. And then you're going to put the cherries in the center. 
just like so. All right, let me continue this. We'll be back in a minute when it's all done. All right, here we are. We're all done. I got the, the pineapples and the cherries. Now I'll take some of the remaining glaze, and we're just going to put this on top of the ham. Just a little bit on those uh, pineapples. Help uh, glaze them over as well. Oh, man. I'm looking forward to this. Boy, okay. We're ready. I'll meet you guys outside. We'll throw this on the smoker. And we'll be ready to eat. All right, here we are. There's that delicious ham. I'm sorry it's uh, gotten dark quick out here. But we're in December. All right. Now we're just going to heat it up a little bit. I'm sure it dropped a little bit. See if I can get it. I'll put those probes and back in there. And for this part, I'm not even going to put uh, the rods in. Because I just want to get that glaze and I want to heat it up pretty quick. All right, probes are back in. I've raised the temperature now to 140, 145. That's pretty much perfect uh, temperature to eat it. Uh, but remember, it's perfectly cooked, so you don't necessarily have to go that high. So one's 114, one's 116. Uh, I'm taking the rods out with a pit barrel here. So yeah, shouldn't take long at all. We'll be back shortly. All right, I cracked a lid a little bit over here because I'm just trying to increase the temperature. Right now, let's see. One's reading at 130. The other one's reading at 129. So I'll take my Insta read, do a couple things, but I think it's pretty much done. I'm just going to keep it on just for a few more minutes, kind of crack it like that much just to really get the heat on, kind of caramelize that sauce. And I'll meet you guys inside. All right, here we are. I'm just letting it rest. Take a look at this. Oh, man, it looks good. It smells good. Uh, get the family out here. We'll give this a try in just a second. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. I'm here with the whole family. My Hi. wife, Monica. My son, Kyle. My mom, Eva, or Farmore. Farmore. <laughs> yeah. And here we have the ham, and we're going to serve it with the pineapples and cherries. But I just have some pieces this here looks good. that I chopped up. Come on, let's everyone try All right, try let's do it. Hey. You're not chopping, right? Come on, okay. take, I'm going to take a big piece. Thank you. Uh-huh. And, whoa. Also, huh? one of the things I want to say is everyone except mom doesn't ham. like ham. No. You know what? I'm open. I'm an mm -hmm. open book. So, hey, let's take pineapple. Like There's some pineapple with it, cow. Mom, okay. cut me a piece. Wait, mm. wait, 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 wait. I got cherry. Mom, well, mom. There, cherry. Cherry. Okay, Pineapples and cherries are awesome. <clears throat> Too much. Now, should fruits. I try it with pineapple? Mm, delicious. And cherry or not? Just some ham pineapple. Okay, I'm mm. going to try it. I'm not a huge I'm not a huge ham fan, to be honest with you, but, but I'm open. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, mm. I can tell that's been smoked mm -hmm. a second time. Very good. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh! Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. I don't even like ham. I'm serious. I do not like ham normally. Yeah, she's never been a big ham. No. When this I first is met delicious. her, she didn't even like pork, but I converted her on pork thanks to my pork butt mm -hmm. and This ribs. is really good. But she still has never kind of delicious been happy whenever I suggest making a ham. <laughs> no, it's the, yeah, honest to God. Mm. How many twenty years of me going to your family's houses and me not liking uh -huh. ham? Wow. And look guys, ham wow. is a great and it's easy really thing good. to make because it's already fully cooked. Just put it on whatever smoker you have, bring it up to temperature, make that really yeah. easy glaze I made, put some pineapples and cherries on top. Yeah. Everyone's going to be happy, I guarantee it. When it's you guys so agree, good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is really good. I'm going to be I'm full gonna before we get our plates that, though. I think I'm shocked to say that I like ham. Mm. Wow. Well, good. Delicious. What do you think, I Kyle? put it on pizza. I eat Hawaiian. <laughs> okay, and by the way, we live near Honey Baked. We've, and mm. Eric and I have had Honey Baked before we had kids, several years in a well, row. Well, that's the easy way out. Okay, but it Honey Baked Honey baked was mediocre for me, and I'd tolerate it, but I didn't really like it. This is takes it to the next level. It really yeah. does. It's so good. You bought it from Sam, so I'm... I'm blown away. Very good. I actually like ham mm. for once. This is... It's kind of shocking me. There. 
It's shocking okay. me. As it's always, good. guys, I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing. I would actually love your support. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> you, All right. I'm glad you, you guys liked it. Did you just dab? Yeah, he always dabs. He dabbed. I think they know. Mm. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.